to report to the Allied headquarters in Venice, where I'd be involved in a secret mission in collaboration with American Army intelligence. As I glided through the Venetian waterways, an eerie feeling crept into my being. A feeling of dread, a feeling so deep, so profound, that I wanted to flee, to find some place safe to hide, some place where this feeling couldn't follow. I'd been in the spy business for several years now, but nothing I had done previously prepared me for the disquieting challenge I was about to face. Questo è lei. La carta della giustizia. Il suo rivale. Ah, il diavolo. Adesso il campo di battaglia. Ah, la torre. E finalmente il risultato. Qualcosa molto speciale succederà. Molto speciale. E allora? Prima i soldi. Quante volte te l'abbiamo detto? Oh. Niente di scienza, oh. niente di affari. Ah, Aspetta, il risponso. Oh. Qual è il risponso? Ah. Andate via. Signora! Lasciatemi! Lasciatemi! Death, who's death? Aspetta! Signora! <ride> Capisco la scarsità. Può procurarci un ulteriore quantità di olio da riscaldamento. Name? Kevin DeFosse. My uh, wife gave me this for my birthday. It broke. I can help you, sir. Colonel Waters is expecting you. The Colonel Waters, sir? Yes, Captain. Si, posso sono stati i soldati italiani. Le forze armate degli Stati Uniti, signor Scalati, non si prenderanno la responsabilità. Enter! Captain Defense reporting, sir. Barcelona, Vienna, Petrograd. 
You get a rendezvous. At ease. When I heard that there was an American serving in French intelligence, I had a hard time believing it. When I heard this American was 19 years old and spoke 26 languages, I decided to see for myself. 27, sir. I could give you a demonstration. You'd bore me. I speak 32. Shall we have a contest, Captain? The loser has to fetch this. Without using the stairs. <laughs> What's that mean? It means go get it yourself, sir, in sign language. Very impressive, Captain Defons. Yep, and That means let's call it a draw in Icelandic. It's fine with me, sir. I had the pick of the very best of the Allied agents. I chose you, Defons. Your file speaks for itself. I've had a mission offered to me. I have no idea what it is, only that it's of the greatest importance. Would you like to work with me? Yes, sir. It would be an honor, sir. There's a little honor among spies, Captain. Then it would be my pleasure. There's even less of that. Then it would be my duty, sir. Good. Then let's go to our briefing. Carlo Purdy, Italian War Ministry. How do you do? And Henry Stanfield from the U.S. Embassy, Captain Defense. Gentlemen, during the past year, the Italian army, with British, French, and American support, has made steady advances against the Austro-Hungarian forces to the north. The cost has been high. You've lost men to enemy gunfire and to sickness, and many more to enemy capture. Until recently, our men have been held as prisoners of war at the camp in southeastern Austria. Four months ago, that camp was attacked, and the POWs were liberated. That's great news. We did the job, Italian forces. No. We weren't in on it. I'd have heard something. It wasn't the Americans, Colonel, or the English, or the French. We believe the attack was led by General Matthias Targo. Never heard of him. Russian? Romanian. Romanian? <laughs> Am I missing something? Why would a Romanian general attack his own allies' POW camp? We've been asking ourselves that same question. Is that what this is all about? Yes. We want you to go up there and find out what has happened. Targo is from northwestern Romania, Transylvania. It is mountainous and heavily wooded, and its people are fiercely independent. Our theory is that Targo has formed a separatist army with no allegiance to either the Germans or the Allies. His intention is to fight his own war for Romanian independence. And he's holding the POWs hostage in case the Allies intervene when the war's over. Any more questions? One. If this actually happened four months ago, why are you reacting now? Three months ago, we sent an agent, a Frenchman, Francois Picard. We never heard from him. A month later, we sent two more, American agents, Thompson and McCall. Two weeks ago, we received this. The finger is Picard's, the ear is McCall's, the eyeball is Thompson's. Included was a warning not to send any more agents. Do you still want the mission? Yes, sir. I'm in. Good. You'll be crossing the front lines in Austria. Be careful. There's some heavy fighting going on. You'll make contact with our agents in Romania. Hear the dossiers. Dr. Franz Heinzer, you've worked with him before. Nicholas Hunyadi, a native of the region. He's new but tested. You'll also be working with a woman, Maria Strassen, a partner of Hunyadi's. You'll make contact with him in a small town near the Transylvanian border, the Streeter. One more thing. 
If General Targu is responsible for this, and he doesn't willingly submit to our investigation, then what should we do? Then put an end to his career, Colonel. What a beautiful bird. This bird only flies. What kept you? Good luck. Thanks. Coming up to the border. The Austrians have deserted this border post. The war is going to end soon. seen Mozart? Not in this century. Did you have any trouble? No, the border post was deserted. Yeah, the fighting has come this far north. Glasses of beer, please. Sorry. Let me get another. Leave it there. Maybe I can help you. Doctor. It's good to see you again, Dr. Heinzer. Captain Defense, Dr. Franz Heinzer. Colonel Votis, Captain Defense, Nicholas Unyadi. And I am Maria. Come. Thank God you made it. We thought you had been intercepted. Why did you think that? Doctor, I know. You, I don't. Tell me something about yourself. I am a Romanian, not a German. 
You have relied on my information many times. Fair enough. You, what's your story? You were told of the agent sent before you? Yes. The Frenchman, Francois Picard. He is my fiance. Well, that's all well and good, miss. But this is a highly dangerous job. She can handle herself. Can I borrow your knife, Colonel? <laughs> is this it? you do that? I can handle myself. Transylvanian border is five miles down the road. The castle General Targo is using for headquarters is beyond, over those mountains. We'll walk? When we can, mostly we'll climb. Can't tell. Yeah, that's the enemy. German and Austrian infantry. And a French officer. And a British officer. And an American. POWs? Who else could they be? British, French, and American soldiers laughing it up with Germans and Austrians? I have sake, don't they know there's a war on? Well, maybe the war ended and they forgot to tell us. Yeah, well, whatever it is, there's something very strange going on here. We'll steer clear of it for now. You, you mean we're not going down there to investigate this? No. We've got a mission to accomplish. They're not in any danger. We'll look into it on our way back. How far to the castle? About an hour. Just over that next mountain. Come on. We'll stay to the high ground. Come on. We'll be drenched before. I'll go first. Are you sure? I think we should try to find a door. No, that'll take too long. This is the fastest way, trust me. Look out. Be careful. 
Don't worry, I've done this before. I still think you should look for a door. <laughs> Careful! One of them. Impalement? It hasn't been used since the days of Vlad. Vlad. Vlad Tepes. Prince of Transylvania. Vlad the Impaler. A 15th century warlord of singular viciousness. They say he impaled over a hundred thousand people that he even liked to drink their blood. He created a curtain of terror around this area. Even the Turks were afraid of him. Some say he was a military genius. He was a devil. Yes, the devil. It seems our General Targo has learned something from history. Come on. Doesn't look like anybody's here. You're right. In Army headquarters, there's much of an army around. It appears that whoever was here has left. My intelligence reports can't be that far off. I don't like this. Maybe they're hiding. It could be a trap. We've got to go in, so we might as well get with it. Let's try this door. POWs we just passed. I don't think so. Come on. What's that sound? phenomenon and extremely rare. I've only heard about it until now. Extraordinarily dangerous. Oh, 
is drawing them to it. Is that possible? There must be some kind of magnetic field here, or some other source of high energy. coming from this room here. It's blood. <laughs> epileptic seizure? Looks like it. No, she's not epileptic. Here, the doctor, do something. Take a glass. Here. Maria. Above the one downstairs. Yes, he must be in there. We can't go in there. Why not? It's got to be a trap. <laughs> I won't go in. But stay with her. Look at the door handle. It's all frozen. Can't burn my hand on this one. electrical energy. I have seen photographs of reported cases of this. The electrical impulses in the body's central nervous system can literally overheat and the flesh ignites from within. 
You're kidding, right? I'm merely stating the scientific possibilities. It is him. His spirit is here. It is him. What is she talking about? <laughs> Prince Vlad. You may not like my theories, Captain, but you would agree that they're preferable to folk superstition. Quiet. You're getting on my nerves. This wasn't electricity, and this wasn't a spirit. This was murder. He was set up. Now get a hold of yourself, because we have a job to do. I'm getting out of here. I'm giving you an order to stay. Nicholas! Nicholas, come back! Stop, Nicholas! We've got to find Francois! Wait! I told you, I'm getting out of here. Don't try to stop me. I'm relying on you, and we have a mission to accomplish. I don't care about the mission! <clears throat> Oh. That wasn't open. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I said, who are you? Good evening, Captain Jones. How do you know my name? This is my home. I know all that goes on under its roof. General Targo, correct? Have you brought terms for your army's surrender? I didn't come here to surrender. Pity. I came here to find the agents that were sent here. And you're going to tell me where they are. I'm going to blow your head off, understand? You are American, aren't you? You've got five seconds. <laughs> so theatrical, so melodramatic, so American. You want to see your colleagues? I'll take you to them. They've been waiting for you. Thompson and Frederick McCall? Yes. yes. French intelligence agent Francois Picard? Yes. I'm with U.S. intelligence in Italy. This must have been quite an ordeal for you. No, not really. Actually, it was quite pleasant. <laughs> I agree. You have found them. What else can I do for you? What have you done to them? I liberated them from a prison camp. I clothed them. I fed them. I'm talking about their minds. You've drugged them, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, gentlemen? Captain Jones and his friend think you've been drugged. I think <laughs> Captain Jones should reconsider his opinion. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. How are you? You know him? No. And what is he talking about? Please, tell him, Doctor. I don't, I don't know what he's... He's been drugged. He, he doesn't know what he's saying. If I was drugged, my memory would be impaired. But it is not, Dr. Schmidt. Schmidt? Who are you? Adolf Schmidt, Captain, Austrian secret police. Now throw away your gun, please. You're double agent. Of course. How interesting. And I'm here for the same reason you are. Your side isn't the only one that wants to know what happened at that POW camp. I should have recognized you. I could never forget you, Doctor. 
At the POW camp, Dr. Schmidt's job was to extract information from the inmates. He was very good at his job. Fortunately, I escaped. Did you now? my friends now. I've been besieged by enemies for too many years. It has been so long, but now the land will be safe. We will cast the intruders out and wash the earth with their blood. Their deaths will cleanse us. Their screams from the stake will allow us to sleep. For it is such a purity death has, such a perfect beauty. You think you're him? <laughs> you're insane. Am I? Take them upstairs. To the tower! you in a moment. the pain. There. You will sleep. Thank <laughs> you. 
Captain. about he's already dead we have to get out of here no he will live you know that now no one could survive that fall no man could you must trust me now the evil can only be destroyed in one way we'll need to move him to where the four roads meet there was a horse and cart in those stables and we'll need a wooden stake and a hammer
happened to them? They have been released. I don't understand. Let's go home. Now do you believe in ghosts? No. I want your blood.